Hello YouTube, uh, FSP here. Hope y'all are doing well today. I've gone over all this in the past, but I thought I'd make another video as winter is approaching. Uh, might be important to discuss emergency lighting again. So, uh, first off, lanterns. Uh, this one was red when I bought it. I spray painted it a little bit, kind of muddled it down a little bit. But uh, lanterns are good. Uh, these are on the shelf at Walmart every day, uh, right next to the one pound propane containers. So uh, I've got three of these. This is the one that was in the shed. Uh, if I need to go in the shed and the power's off, I'm going to need a light source in there. So this is a good uh, light source for my shed. Uh, my other two are still red. I left them be. They're in here in the house. Uh, but lanterns are a good option. Smaller versions of that. You've got the Yuko candle lanterns. Uh, I've got mine set up. I've got three of these. There's one. There's two. And there's another one. So I've got these set up with the beeswax candles. Uh, you can you can opt to get the beeswax candles. They last a full 12 hours. And if you're only running it, you know, one or two hours a night, you can get a week out of these. And, uh, you know, if you're going to have candles, you need to have supplies. Here's more candles. More candles. More candles. So, if you're going to use something, have some supplies for it. Here's some more candles. These are the white variety. More candles. And I got way more of these, too, but, uh, you know, I don't want to do a, an hour-long video, so we're not going to show them off. But, uh, good to have the supplies. Whatever it is, if you're going to use the Yukos, make sure you got extra candles to put in them. Okay, uh, the easiest emergency lighting option, uh, Dollar Tree, or Dollar and a Quarter Tree now, uh, but I bought all these at the Dollar Tree back when they were all still a buck. These were a dollar a pack. I got four here with me, and there's, I don't know, ten more in there in the drawer in yonder. So, again, don't want to make an hour-long video. Emergency candles. Good to have. They make the little votive style too, but I prefer the tapers. They burn last longer. Uh, you got that. Then, oil lamps. Another good thing. I've got three of these. Uh, uh, when you're dealing with uh, lanterns and oil lamps, you're going to need an, an ignition source. Matches, 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 lighters. I've got a whole drawer full of lighters that are still in the pack. And I've got a drawer full of matches that are all still in the pack. So you need to stock up on your matches. They're, they're inexpensive. The problem, the biggest problem with the matches is finding them on the shelf. Because nine times out of ten they're sold out. Uh, other options, you have the, uh, the battery powered lanterns. These work quite well. Uh, this was on the as seen on TV clearance aisle. I bought this at Walmart and I think it was like eight bucks or something. So I got two or three of these. I have my Luminade. This is a solar lantern. You blow it up, you see it's got the little blow-up thing like an inner tube on it. You blow it up, you turn it on. It's got uh, different settings, you know. It's, got, it's even got an uh, emergency strobe or whatever on it. So these are good to have. Set them in the sun, charge them up, use them all night. Excellent options. And these, uh, this particular one packs down flat. This is called the Luminade Pack Light. 
Uh, and it supposedly has a USB. You can charge your phone off of it if you needed to, but uh, I just use it as a lantern because it works great for that. So, uh, am I missing anything else? It's important to make sure you got ways to uh, have lighting in your home. Winter time comes. We have more power outages in the winter time than any other time. Of course, that's just my state. Uh, it'll be different wherever you go. But uh, make sure you've got ways to uh, to keep light in your house. Uh, even when the power goes out. I'm going to grab this too. Also, a good idea. Uh, if you're going to have open flames in the home, fire extinguisher is good to have. This is just a small one that I keep in this room. I keep a five pounder in the kitchen and a five pounder by the uh, electrical box back in the bedroom. And I got a five pounder in the shed as well. But this is a two and a half pounder that I just use for this room. Uh, but uh, fire extinguishers are very important, especially when you're running open flames. Okay. Uh, so fire safety is always, again, on these oil lamps. I try to put these where the dogs can't knock them off uh, top of the fridge, up high somewhere where they can't, because Ripper's tail, he'll knock stuff off. Uh, he knocks stuff off my desk right here. So, I mean, his tail is way higher than his body is. So uh, I keep these up high. I keep one on the chest of drawers in the bedroom. It's up high enough where they can't get to it and knock it off. So if you have pets, be extremely careful where you put these. They need to be in a high location, uh, somewhere where a kid or a dog can't knock them off and set your house on fire. Because they will do that. So, uh, still wanting to get another one of these because I love these. They charge up. Uh, it's free energy. And uh, you can let the air out of them. How do you let the air out of this booger? Oh, I know how to do it. Anyhow, these, you let the air out, and uh, they pack flat. So, very good. Why well, won't this let it out? Oh, that's not the air thing. That's why. The uh, air thing is on this side, on the bottom. The... Uh, thing I showed you all ago was actually a USB port that had a little cover on it. That's the air thing on the bottom. So you open the valve, you twist it, and it goes down like that. And you put the two little straps over and it packs flat in your pack. So very cool little item there. I really like these. So that's what we got for you today. Uh, be thinking about next time you go to the dollar store, get you some emergency candles. Uh, if you have UCO lanterns, get you plenty of candles for those. Uh, lamp oil didn't cover that, but make sure you got plenty of lamp oil for things like this or kerosene and your uh, your your oil lamps, kerosene lanterns. You can use kerosene or you can use the uh, paraffin. Uh, lamp oil as well. Uh, again, I know I'm just repeating myself, but make sure you got plenty of ignition sources. Uh, you're gonna need them. So, emergency lighting, get you some. Prep it all up. This is FSP. We'll check y'all later.